In this video, I'm going to compare two different fabrics in the Western Mountaineering family of sleeping bags. The first is the Microfiber XP fabric. It's a nice lightweight fabric that can still handle expedition use, but compare that versus the Gore Windstopper fabric, where that's a much harder core fabric. Is there really a difference? How do they perform? What's the weight difference? And most importantly, how water repellent are they? At the end of this video, you'll get to see. <laughs> what is the difference between these two fabrics, the Microfiber XP fabric and the Gore Windstopper GWS fabric? There's actually a surprising amount of difference in the weight and performance as far as the feel, how easy it is to pack, and everything. So that's what I'm going to go through in this video right now to share with you. The first bag that I have here is the antelope, and that's in the microfiber fabric. When I pick up this sleeping bag, I can feel the fabric, and it feels a little bit delicate. When I pull it and pop it, I'll do a cool, a little bit of a close-up here in a moment. But when I'm pulling and feeling and handling this fabric, it feels just a little bit delicate. Now that's not to say it's as delicate as the extreme light fabric from Western Mountaineering, but it's definitely something I don't want to pull and yank on because it feels like I could tear it. Compare that to the Gore Windstopper fabric, this stuff feels beefy. I never have the feeling with my Gore Windstopper fabric. Sleeping bags like, oh, you know, I gotta be extra careful. Now mind you, you can tear a fabric in any sleeping bag, but the difference is pretty remarkable between the two. However, the difference in the weight, that's another matter. So the Microfiber XP fabric is 1.3 ounces per square yard or 41.9 grams per square meter. Compare that to the Gore Windstopper fabric. The Gore Windstopper is 1.7 ounces per square yard or 52.7 grams per square meter. It's only a 23% difference in increase in weight between the Microfiber XP and the Gore Windstopper, but it feels hugely different because the weave is different, the ripstop threads are different, the Microfiber is designed to be ultra small and it feels almost waxy compared to the Gore Windstop, which feels like you're traditional outer shell jacket. Now granted, this fabric isn't nearly as heavy as a hard shell that you would use for you know, mountaineering or bad weather or anything, but it feels substantially beefier. The most noticeable difference between the two fabrics is packability. My antelope can fit in this stuff sack pretty easy. This is a Sea to Summit uh, event fabric. It's a medium. I can jam my entire sleeping bag, the antelope, into this bag, mush it down, and it comes up to about here. Compare that to, and this is a five degree bag. Compare that to the Gore Windstopper bag. This is a minus 25 degree bag. No way that bag is getting in here. It would still be sticking out. Now granted, there's another pound of feathers in this Gore Windstopper bag, but the packability of the two fabrics is a key concern because if you really need to jam your sleeping bag small enough to where you can backpack with it in a small space, you really want to consider the Gore Windstopper as too beefy. The Microfiber XP packs down much, much easier. It's a lighter fabric, and so you've got that trade. However, in expedition situations like Denali or Antarctica, I, I, I go with the Gore Windstopper every time simply because it has a much higher durability and it's more water repellent. Now, the next thing about these fabrics is the snag resistance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here and show you the feel of the two different fabrics just to give you an idea of the difference. So between these two fabrics, the Microfiber XP and the Gore Windstop, I'm going to show you the difference. When I wiggle it in my hands, it feels a little bit waxy, like a standard microfiber fabric, and it doesn't have any real stretch in the lengthwise, any real stretch, just a tiny bit in the widthwise, 
diagonally it definitely has stretch and that's to be expected. Compare that to the Gore wind stop. When I pull the fabric, it absolutely hard stops. There's no give whatsoever. When I pull it in the width direction, again, it hits hard. But in diagonal, it actually has quite a bit of stretch, which is interesting comparing that to the microfiber fabric. In the diagonal, it doesn't actually stretch that much, so it's a function of the weave. But just the feeling of this fabric, it feels much like a hard shell like you would for an ultralight gore stop jacket. Compared to the microfiber, this stuff feels really, really delicate. Now, if you look at the... Now, if you look at where the zipper is performing on the microfiber fabric, you can see when I pull it on there, you can see that there's a tiny bit of stretch, but if you look along here, I've never really had a snag that did any damage whatsoever on this bag. So that's the good thing about the microfiber. But compared to that to the core wind stop, I don't remember if I've ever even had a snag on this fabric at all. It's just so much heavier that the zipper really doesn't snag on it. So that's the thing about these two fabrics. If you think you're a gorilla and you're not very careful with your bags, you like to be a little bit rough with your gear, you definitely want to go with the Gore Wind Stop. It's much more resistant to rough handling. The microfiber is pretty tough, but if you really yank and snag and you're not careful about it, I can see doing a little bit of damage to that fabric. But the Gore Wind Stop, yeah, no way, not gonna happen. If you look on the bottom of the bag, again, this is black microfiber and black or I guess slate gray Gore Wind Stop. The bottom doesn't seem to be as heavy duty as the top, but maybe that's just a feeling for me. So that's, a, that's kind of a tough call there. The next test that we're going to do is a water repellency test. So first I'm going to take my Puma bag and I'm going to pour water directly on the fabric to see how quickly it absorbs in or it just simply pours off. Okay, you can see that there. Let me in fact get a little bit closer up here. And reposition. There you go, you can see the bag gets a little bit wet. So if you're in an absolutely downpour and your tent completely fails, I'm brushing off the fabric, but you can see that it's gotten wet. So direct contact with direct water is definitely going to be a problem with a microfiber bag. I can feel it's quite moist and it, it absorbed in pretty well. The down still feels okay inside, but I'm sure it's going to get pretty moist here too. Now I'm going to do the same sort of water repellency test with the Gore Wind Stop. This back's a lot tougher because it's so poofy with the down. It's a little bit hard to position, so hopefully I don't pour water all over the place. But I'm going to pour water all over the bag. All right. Pop it off. And it feels almost completely dry. There's a little bit of moisture on the surface, but if I brush it off, I would say it's completely dry. I don't see any water discoloration on the bag. On the bottom where the water hung out a little bit longer, yeah, that actually performs really well. So if you're going to be in a downpour situation where you've got lots of water pouring over your bag, potentially even though it's a down bag, you definitely want to going to want to go with this Gore Wind Stop. That works incredibly well. It's not perfect, but it's definitely pretty water repellent. Now what I'm going to do is a water misting test. Granted, this isn't true fog because, well, uh, it's not fog, but you'll get an idea of just how water repellent or not if you get a light mist. So we'll just do a little spray here. There you go, okay. The bags, 
Okay, let's see what happens. Look at the beading on the bag here. Okay, let's compare the beading of the bag here and see which one's running off. You can see the gore wind stop. The water's still beating up. In fact, it's running off onto my floor. But the microfiber, it is not beating up as well. So let me wipe this down with a towel. Just brush it off so I'm not applying much pressure and pushing the water in there. And let's see what the difference is. When I touch the microfiber, I can definitely feel the fabric is moist. Let me dry off my hand. And I touch the Gore Wind Stop. I can feel some residual moisture on the surface, but it feels much drier when I wrinkle it in between my fingers compared to the microfiber. So if you end up in a, a misty or foggy situation where you know you're going to have plenty of rain, spatter, and mist, that Gore Wind Stop is definitely better than the microfiber. In fact, let me dry that off some more. And there you go. There is the difference between the Gore Wind Stop and the microfiber sleeping bag in the Western Mountaineering series of sleeping bags. I'll put a link below to the specification chart so you can see the difference here, but you can see there's a substantial performance difference between these two bags. Now, why would you choose the Gore Wind Stop over the microfiber or vice versa? This microfiber is way more packable. When you mush it in and you squish down your bag, it's way easier to get this into a smaller space given the same amount of down. So if you have an antelope or a puma wind stop versus gore or a microfiber, you have to choose packability versus durability and waterproofness. That's the big factor here. And the last test we're going to do is the wind or the hydrostatic pseudo test here. The first fabric, the microfiber, when I blow on the fabric, I can feel just a tiny bit of air going through there. Not much. I was like, whoa, get lightheaded. But when I put my mouth on, I try and blow through the Gore Wind Stop, nothing happens. It feels like I'm blowing on solid plastic. And so I've got the data here. The hydrostatic head on the microfiber is 2,000 millimeters. That doesn't mean much until you compare it to the Gore Wind Stop, which is 12,000 millimeters. So there's a six times difference between the microfiber and the Gore Wind Stop as far as hydrostatic motion, meaning water going through the fabric. So if you think you're going to be in a wet situation or it's snowy, and you're gonna get coated with snow and you're breathing on it all the time, Gore One Stop is the only choice. I use this Puma bag, or rather, sorry, the antelope bag in Greenland because packability was more important. Now granted, I did get some moisture in the bag. It was chilly because it got down to minus 25 in Greenland, but this bag survived. I wouldn't choose my Puma bag for that expedition simply because it was just too much to carry. It's just way too big. I can haul it on Denali, but hauling 100 miles, it's just way too hard. So there you go. That is the difference between microfiber fabric and Gore Wind Stop fabric. You have to choose durability, waterproofness, uh, resistance to snags and tears, how packable or compressible it is. All those factors go into deciding between the Gore Wind Stop and the microfiber. I hope you found this video helpful. My name is Aaron Linstout. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like and comment on the video, and if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your adventures.